the first uh, two kits that I'm going to show you are the Christmas tablescaping kits. Um, now, the idea um, for these kits um, came from doing some sort of uh, Christmas installs at the house of Lydia Millen. Um, we created a really beautiful tablescape for her for her Christmas. Um, and this is basically just replicating it. So if you like what you see on her YouTube video for her Christmas install, um, then you're going to love this. I'm going to take you step by step through how to create this tablescape. We're going to go with the signature size, which is the smaller size of the two. So you have the signature and the luxury. Um, just because in Lydia's video, she's got the luxury. So if you want to look at that, you can go and look at our tutorial on Lydia Millen's um, YouTube. Um, it's under, I think it's called, the video is called The End of an Era. And then if you have ordered the signature, um, then I'll show you how to do that here. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take you step by step through how to sort of create it. Um, now in your kit, you will have three terracotta pots, two of the same size, one slightly larger. You'll have the mini Christmas tree, you'll have a hellebore and this beautiful sort of red burgundy skimmia. You'll have your gravel moss, uh, your gravel compost and your moss as usual and your twigs. And then you will also have three glass bud vases. I filled mine with water here, ready to go. Um, some sort of festive foliages and berries to go inside those bud vases and then some more moss and um, some asparagus fern to go along the table if you so choose. So let's begin. Oh, and some three candles. Now, I'm really sorry about these candles. We've got them on order um, to come in and these are mine I've burnt. So we've completely sold out. So we had them in the pop-up shop and I stupidly didn't put three back. Um, so uh, yes, but this is what they look like. They're just all burnt out, but they are gorgeous. So you get those in your kit as well. So it's, there's just different quantities of the items depending on whether you go for signature or luxury. Okay, let's pot up the plants first. So let's start with this beautiful 12 centimetre Simona pot. Add in some of a handful of gravel that's in your kit. Then sort of just a little sprinkling of compost over the top. And then this is your skimmia. Now it's worth saying to give everything a good drink on arrival. And then that's all you need to do, just simply place it in. And then if you want to, you can add in a little bit more compost around the soil. And then we'll add in the moss. So we've got some flat moss and some sphagnum moss. I think you will also have some bun moss in your kits, but I've forgotten to put it on my table. Two seconds, I'll go and get it. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. So you'll have bun moss as well, which is a sort of more chunky one. Your sphagnum moss, which is the one that feels more sort of dry, you'll probably want to use more on the table if you choose to. Okay, and then we'll add in our birch twigs. So can you, you can just use some scissors for these. So I'll probably put in about four or five, or well five, maybe five, um, sort of little bits of the birch. And just simply place them in. They don't need a water source, so they can just sit in the moss. Okay. And then you have your dried thyme, which is here. I needed a bigger table, that was silly of me, wasn't it? Okay, so your dried thyme is here. So this just adds a kind of like woodlandy feel to the um, potting up. Just little touches. Um, again, just probably just placing them in the moss. Okay, so that is your first um, potted plant. 
potted up. So that's your skimmia. So let's just put that to the side. And now let's do your white hellebore. So adding in your gravel, so a handful of gravel in your 10 centimeter castle pot, a little bit of the compost. There we go. And then after giving the hellebore a good drink, just gently remove it from its pot, place in, and then you can add in more of your compost, just being really careful of those um, little buds that are around the base of the plant, because those are the flowers that will replace um, your flowers once they go over. So you get a continuous sort of supply of beautiful white florals. Okay, so being really, really gentle around the base. Quite often you will find that the buds are underneath the soil, so you can't even see them until they start to sort of pop up. Okay, and now I'm gonna put some flat moss around that. Now, again, I would say use the flat moss, which is this kind of moss, rather than the bun moss, because you can quite simply just lay it on top. You don't have to do really any pushing down or anything like that, and therefore you're not going to damage those tiny little buds. And you can add some twigs in this if you would like. Again, just being careful of those little buds. So I'm just going to put sort of three in. Okay, and then adding in your dried thyme as well. Again, just a little bit. just to add some interest and some texture. Okay, so that's your second plant potted up. So that's your white hellebore ready. Pop that there. And then the last plant in the signature tablescaping kit is your mini Christmas tree, which is just absolutely adorable. Um, I love them on a tablescape. Um, so yeah, this is just a Piscea Christmas tree. It smells lovely. Okay, so adding in the gravel to your 10 centimeter stout pot. Probably don't actually need any compost, but I'm just gonna put just a little bit, just so that the plant's getting some extra nutrients. I would say though, if you wanted to, it is absolutely fine to keep the Christmas tree and the skimmia in its pot. That way you can take them out once you finish with your tablescape and put them in the garden and um, it will just be a bit easier. You can still put it in the garden if you take it out of its pot, um, but it just means it, it makes it just a bit simpler. So you can pop it in. You wouldn't want the gravel in the bottom. So I've put the gravel in. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna take the gravel out and then I'm gonna show you this way because it's just a different way so the other two have been potted without their pots. So you quite simply put the plastic pot in the terracotta pot and then you will add in your moss. I'm gonna go for some flat moss here. Just around, just to hide your pot. And with the Christmas tree, we don't put, well, you can if you want to obviously, but I wouldn't put twigs in it. Um, I think it's nice to see that kind of form of the Christmas tree. So you're simply just hiding the rim of the plastic pot and that way you can easily take it out so that you can repot it in the garden um, if you would wish to in the new year. Okay, so that's your Christmas tree potted up. So let's have a little tidy up so we've got some space. And then, we can move on to the bud vases. So I think that's what's special about this kit is having those bud vases just creates, you know, a different kind of texture, a different element to your um, tablescape. It makes it more interesting because you've got two sort of different things going on. It's not just one, you know, vases and it's not just pots. It's a mixture of them both. So 
I think you'll really like it. Okay, so you have your three bud vases in your signature kit and we have some Tallinn Long John. So these are these beautiful red, kind of really delicate berries. They're a lovely tone of red. They're not too kind of blue toned um, and they're not too yellow toned. So they're really lovely. We have some pine, which smells sensational, just smells like Christmas. So that's your festive foliage. And then you have your beautiful red skinny. You also will have some asparagus fern which you can either choose to put in the bud vases or you can use it on the table. So I'm going to save that for the table. Okay, so let's start with the pine. So this will create the structure in your bud vases. So you're simply going to cut it down a little bit. You won't have massive long bits um, because I'll cut them down a little bit for you so they all come sort of nicely and easy to sort of handle rather than big, you know, um, stems of, of pine. Um, but you will need to cut it down just a little bit. So the main thing is to cut down it into little pieces and then where the stem goes in the water, you don't want any leaves on there. You don't want any needles on there because they will then, if there's needles, pine needles in the water, it will then cause sort of more bacteria and it will cut short the life of your bud vases. Okay, so then I've got another bit, another section about that length and I'm just gonna pop that in there, almost in like a cross. So that has provided your foliage structure. And you'll see from the bud vases that the neck is massively wide. So it's a delicate sort of arrangement. So again, taking off the needles of your pine that's gonna go in the water. Place that in there. And then another one that's just going to go across. So the stems are crossing in the water. It's not essential, but it just gives a nice kind of look. And then the last one. So you're sort of aiming to have two stems of pine creating that sort of structure. Because to be truthful, that's all you'll be able to fit in. and then you cross it over like that. Okay, now we're going to add in our red skimmia or burgundy skimmia. So in this one, you probably are looking for sections that are about that length. Take off the lower leaves and then place in your bud vase. Now I'm gonna put two in here. stems like so and then if you want to use the leaves you can do oh that one's got three and hang on a minute let me take one off and that one will go in the next one Now I've lost one of my skinny stems. Has it fallen on the ground? Okay. I'm gonna have to go and get another thing of skimmia, so just one sec. Ever the professional, hey? Right, sorry about that. I don't think I've ever had to do that before, and I've done it twice. Ah, sorry. Okay, so. Two more sections for the last bud vase. Okay, beautiful. And then we can remove these leaves, get those out of the way. And then lastly, popping in our in Long John. So in the signature you will have three stems of this which you can actually break down in half and use two stems in your um, bud vases. So you're simply cutting above a stem of berries so then you end up with two. 
and you can trim that one down so you're looking at that sort of size and then you place those into your bud bars. Like so. So again for the next bud bars, cutting just above where a stem has come off. So then you end up with two separate sections that you can use. third one, again, trimming just above where you have a stem of berries and then adding that to your bud bars. Okay, so those are your three bud bars is ready. So we'll add those to the ready pile. And now it's just a case of building your tablescape. So I'm just gonna move everything off. Okay, so we're ready to start building our tablescape. Now, the first thing we want to do is to go in with the foliages. So we're going to add in, oh gosh, and now I've forgotten the pine as well. Two sets. Okay, so now we're a bit more sort of cleared down. We're gonna to start to build up the tablescape. Now you'll have leftover pine and your asparagus fern to create a sort of um, runner that will go along the table. Now it doesn't need to go along the whole table, it could just go along a section, um, or you can put it in little areas on the section depending on what you're gonna have on the table. But I'm just gonna do it on this table just to show you how it all looks. So I'm gonna start at the end and just place little sections of pine all looking in the same direction so there's a flow so all facing this way like so and then going to add in some asparagus fern now just with the asparagus fern just be mindful that they, it can be a little bit sharp on the stem again all facing in the same direction along your table and then I'm going to pop in your, my, my plants so I'm going to go with the tallest one in the middle so that's the skimmia and then on one side I'm going to pop the Christmas tree and then on the other side I will add in the white and then I'll add in the bud vases so I'll have one at the end one sort of near the front centrally and then one at the other end and you can spread it out as much as you want and the, the kind of idea is that you're moving in a sort of flowing motion so it's not just in a straight line it's sort of dotted, almost kind of zigzaggy. And then we can add in the moss. Now you'll have bun moss, flat moss, and sphagnum moss. It is completely up to you if you use it or not. I personally don't have an issue with having fresh moss on a table. Um, if you're putting it on wood, just be mindful because it might be damp. Um, but ideally pop it on a tablecloth and, you know, just in, enjoy it and try not to worry too much about the fact that it might be a little bit messy. Um, you know, it's a fresh product, it's a natural product, you're not going to eat it, um, and it just adds a lovely kind of dimension. But obviously, in the, in the same breath, don't worry, if you don't wanna use it, it doesn't matter, it will still look lovely with all the foliages. So I'm just adding this moss, and then, if these were, oh actually sorry, I've got the dried sphagnum moss as well. Now this moss is dried, so you could, um, if you didn't want to use the fresh, you could just use this moss. Okay. And then you can just have a little bit of a sweep up 
on the edges and then you obviously you'll have all your plates and your cutlery and your crockery and your champagne flutes and your wine glasses um, and then we can add in the candles now the crucial thing with the candles obviously is not to put them right underneath anything that's sort of hanging above so that it, it doesn't sort of singe anything and that is about it so that is your christmas tablescape um this is the signature size so the luxury size is bigger um but yeah it will arrive on the 20th of december so you've got time to enjoy potting it up um, and not feel too rushed everything in it will last a really decent amount of time you know nothing is sort of um something that will last like a bunch of flowers would um you know you've got some good longevity in there so i hope you enjoy your christmas tablescaping kit <laughs>